Hello everybody, this is Moses. In this video, I am going to show you the login template for Microsoft Access that uh, I made. Uh, this is for those who are learning how to make some programs in Microsoft Access and um, they are trying to uh, figure out how they can make a login, uh, uh, a login form. Um, so I've created this template um, so that someone can just download it from the site and then um, add it to their program. So without wasting much of your time, let me show you how it works. So this is the first form that shows up when you, uh, when you run the, the program. So when you log in, um, it remembers the password because I checked uh, this one, remember. And then this form shows up. Okay, so I named um, uh, this template as uh, a school database system um, because there's a school database system that I've been working on. And then I just try to uh, to get some of the ideas and make them separately and share them with others. Okay, so what this form does is that if you already have a startup form, like you have a menu, now uh, a menu form where you you have put um, uh, your programs, and that people should be using um, uh, when they get it, when they get your your application. So what you can do, uh, you can just put that uh, menu, uh, the name of the menu in this uh, text area. So just to uh, post startup. For startup, um, I made a form called a startup. startup form. So what will happen is that I have to do step two, log out after you have written your startup form. So I'm going to log out. So what will happen next is that uh, when I log in, the um, the, the form that uh, we had is not going to show up, uh, but it's going to be a demo menu. So take, if this was your menu, this is what is what is going to show up. So as you have noticed that that form has disappeared, uh, what will happen every time is that when you log in, you are not going to see that form. Uh, it's not going to show up. Uh, so that's how uh, this template works. So I'll put this button so that um, just uh, you may be able just to go back to uh, to the customizing form or the startup form. Um, so there is a help here on the side. It shows you, um, I've used some pictures that uh, the previous version of this, of this program. So as you can notice at the end, it says software by Nitec and then cooperation help helps live community. So I was working on this template um, um, and um, under Natec solution, under Natec solution. So Natec solution is the company in Malawi uh, that is led by Neymar or Kondwan Mushali. Uh, he's uh, involved in uh, in teaching people about um, about computers and uh, he does a lot of things. So, and he's one of the guys that introduced me to programming. Uh, so, so far, um, this is what is involved in the help. All right, so here at our login form, we have this, um, this area which says forgot password when you click on it. Uh, it's going to bring this form which allows you to renew your password. Um, again, you are free to uh, to modify this, uh, this this template so that it suits your uh, it suits your need. Um, so you can pick your, your name or whoever is the one in charge of the program and then um, you type the password and then we type it again. Um, we type it, then uh, you click save, and then it's going to take you to 
uh, TP to the, the login form. And if you cancel, it's gonna take you back again to uh, the login form. Now, if you want to create uh, to create an account, you just come here and create an account, and then you uh, you follow some few uh, required information, and then you click save. And then once you click save, it's gonna take you back to the, to the login form, so that you may use those uh, details you submitted uh, to uh, to log in. Yes, there's, there's this area where you're required to put, to put your password and retype it. So, all right, so this is how this, uh, this works. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, just uh, the code, the code behind. And um, let's do this. All right. Um, the logic mostly is here on the, on the login button. Okay. So what's going on with this uh, login button is that um, I'm trying to to get some information from uh, to get some information from the T login T login. Um, so what's going on is that uh, so user if username and password there's nothing in there so those are the um, um, these two guys so there's the name on the password if there's nothing then I want to ex ex exit sub uh, which means uh, just exit it so it doesn't go ahead and execute other instructions okay so the second line shows that. Um, Okay, so if not password is equal to the uh, to the password of the user that has been selected, then it should be a message. Um, and then there's uh, an area for the message uh, on the form, which I just named message. And then it's gonna write wrong password or username. Please write the correct info. And then if the password that the person has, has typed, the, so you select yourself, for example, you, um, the way we selected SDS, and then if the password that we typed is equal to the password that is in the table for SDS, then uh, what is going to happen is that now it's going to it's going to go into the into this startup form, like startup form. This which is this table, and look up for the field called startup, and then um and then it's gonna close if that is not there if there's nothing in that startup then what's gonna happen is that it's just gonna it's just gonna close and then bring back the f startup now the f startup is that form where you are caught you uh to put the name of your your startup form or maybe your, your menu form and then if the, if it finds something in that uh what will happen is that um that form that is the in the startup form is going to be it's going to be open uh, as we noticed that there was a demo form that showed up when we uh when we entered the startup form in the in the text area so so that's uh, quite what's going on with this uh, with this code again i know i've noticed the programmers have got uh, different ways of uh, writing code uh, so if you have the best way of of writing uh, uh, this kind of codes that uh, allows someone to log in, you can can modify this code and and um, do what uh, do what is right with your program. Okay, so far that's what is going on with the with the login with the login form. And uh, if you have uh, if you have any questions. Uh, Please feel free to ask, and if you have any uh, suggestions or recommendations, um, you are free to put those in the comment area. So the template is already on the site, which you'll find in the description uh, description area, and um, you'll be able to download it and uh, use it in your in your program. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. God bless.